Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a really quick video about my most recent video that was using Snip as a music scroller in OBS. I actually had a couple of questions about how to use Snip inside of XSplit. So let me take a second and show you how to do that. First, if you haven't already though, I really recommend going back and watching that video about setting up Snip and getting all the settings correct. Basically, you just need to download Snip, extract it on your computer, and then run it. And then make sure you have both Spotify and Snip running. And I'm going to go ahead and start a track as well. And maybe skip a track or two just to make sure everything's updated. And now I'm going to go back into XSplit. Once I'm in XSplit, I'm going to go ahead and click Source. Go to Get More Plugins from the Plugin Store. And now what I need to do is find the plugin called Title Legacy and install that. After it's installed, I want to go to Add, Other, and then Title, and it should say Legacy since it's an older plugin, I believe. Now here, you need to enable Remote Text Update. You can now change the refresh interval to something a little bit quicker, maybe to like five seconds. But this basically just says, hey, check this file every X amount of seconds, and if there's a change, update it inside of XSplit. Now what we need to do is actually in the remote URL, paste in the file path of the file snip.txt that's found inside of our snip folder. The easiest way that I found to find a file path is to just drag the file into your browser and then copy that file path URL that's in your little URL bar. And that's just a nice little way to get something really quickly that I use. Anyways, um, now you can go to enable scrolling, uh, you can set it to slower or faster, and then you can also change the font here if you'd like. But once you're done, we can also go back into the settings and change the width to something that's a little wider, or you can actually keep it how it is if you like it there. And that's really all there is to it. If there's any questions at all about this, let me know. I know this was a bit faster than some of my other videos, but I wanted to make sure to get this out there for the people that do use XSplit. It's not my personal preferred platform, but I have used it before and I definitely know there are some advantages to using it. So if you'd like to see more videos about XSplit, let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to share this video if you can and subscribe to Nerd or Die for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.